Jesus, you look. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Personal Best. I'm your host, Ken Nias. This week on the program, some young Canadians who will never take active living for granted. Okay, I'm coming down. And you're going to meet a man whose choice of activity is, uh, shall we say, an acquired taste? But first, women and boxing. Have you ever in your lifetime considered taking part in the sport boxing? No. No, never. Doesn't you, interest you at all? Is this a joke? Oh, good God, no. Me personally, no. I'm small and I get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, women do box in Canada now, and the reason? Two words, Jenny Reed. Boys compete against boys. And girls compete against girls. Except in this sport, the girls are women. And they love to hit. What I was doing, which was running and swimming. Um, I also was coming out of a, not the best relationship I'd ever been in, and I was angry. I really liked it. I, I liked how hard it made me push myself. Go faster, let's go. Jenny Reed is from Kingston, Ontario. She's a lawyer who loves a fight. It's kind of my security blanket in some ways. It's become kind of like my anchor, and, which is a funny thing because I, I walk away and I, and I can never quite leave it all together. I always want to come back and if I'm out of the gym for a month or two or something like that, I, I've got to get back into the gym. Gonna reach, gonna reach for it, let's go. Jenny's coach is Colin McPhail. When she started in our club, uh, I didn't think she was going to stay, so. We, de uh, we decided to put her to a hard workout. He wouldn't let me spar for a year. She didn't know nothing about it, but she stayed with all the workouts. It's just a matter of attitude, and I found it rather archaic. She's a lawyer, you know that. So you can't say too much about uh, the against with female boxing because she puts you right in your spot. The women in my mom's family in particular, you know, did, were pioneers at everything. They sort of, you know, one got arrested for wearing blue jeans in Mount Royal. One went to BC and lived in the middle of nowhere doing her own hunting and fishing. They were, were all women who were not deterred by, by the societal norms at the time, and I guess I was raised with that kind of outlook. When Jenny first put on the gloves, boxing for women was just a way of keeping fit. Sanctioned fights simply didn't exist. But all that changed one night four years ago in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Jenny Reed and Therese Robitaille were about to make boxing history. It was the first women's match they'd ever had in the world, the first sanctioned match. I don't really think of myself as a pioneer rather than more someone who wanted to box. And I guess I was raised with that kind of outlook that if there was something that I really wanted to do, if I worked hard enough, I could do it, and nothing, you know, no one or nothing would stop me. But anyway, it was really, it was a new experience, and it was really scary, too. <laughs> um, and, I, and even to this day, I haven't got rid of that sort of big knot in my stomach before I get in the ring. Somewhere in the boxing history books, you'll find that Jenny Reed lost that first fight. Since then, she's won more bouts than she's lost. But what's more impressive is what she's done for the sport. Uh, let's face it, uh, she's pushed, she's shoved, and she's forced her way on the scene. She's forced other females on the scene. And I'm going to tell you something right now. We're here in Windsor at the Female Provincial Boxing Championships because of Jenny Reed. This is Jamie Bell. You kick her butt, you hear me? I mean it. Work at it hard. Be tough out there. Jamie knows she's here because of Jenny. She has opened so many doors for girls to get boxing as, as a competitive sport anyways. Um, I wouldn't be able to compete if it wasn't for her to like fight the law or whatever, to get girls boxing in the first place. You gotta be tough now, okay? Don't be tough. You gotta be first out there. Jamie's one of those um, undeterrable people. 
She's never backed away from an opponent yet. She got a standing aid in her first match and came back and won the fight. It's here to say I think she's going to go places. You be tough okay. now. Let's go. Get ahead. Let's go. For Jamie and Jenny, the stakes are high at this weekend tournament. Doing well here at the provincials will mean a ticket to the first ever national championships for women. I want to be there. You know, even if I don't win, um, I want to qualify for the national national uh, championship because I was at the beginning and I want to see it right through. Now I don't think I'll be there by the time they hit the Olympics and I figure that's year 2000 or something like that. Get them shots in the head, make sure they're good and solid. I know that if it hits a certain level, it's here to stay. You know, and there are people like Jamie coming into it who are, who are good young boxers. Good, Jamie. Good shot, good shot. If I have to bet on, if one of the first women being on our Olympic team, I'd put Jamie Bell there. You know, I watch her, I keep thinking, oh no, she's going to kick my butt. <laughs> Good girl, Jamie. Queen of the ring, girl. You're queen of the ring. That's the girl. I love this sport. What? I love this sport. You love the sport? Yeah. How much love the sport? I Tell me. I love it a lot. Do you? I want to make it to the Olympics, for sure. I made it to the Nationals now, so it's another stepping stone. Jamie fought a good fight. Yes, she did. Very good fight. Would you do the same thing? Yeah. You got to keep on her, keep her on this one. You keep your hand nice and high, okay? Let's go. We get up there and we get at it. Women's boxing has made huge strides in four years. But for Jenny, especially in the early years, progress wasn't quick enough. Okay. Good luck. There really wasn't a whole lot going on in 90 when I started, and I stayed for 91, and I had a match. We had the first match. And I figured, okay, now, you know, we've had the match. Now women are going to start jumping in, and they didn't. <laughs> let's go, Jenny. Come on, now. let's go. And that's been the problem. There simply haven't been enough boxers to go around. For the first couple of years, Jenny was lucky to even get a fight. Catch coming in, Jenny. Let's go. But like so much in this sport, that too is changing. With more than 350 competitive women boxers in Canada, the veterans better beware. Hey, Jenny, you hear me? You gotta, come on now, wake up. Gotta get this. Now, get, come, on, score some. come on, score points now. Get that right hand, boom. Right. Left, left, boom, okay? Okay, let's go. Good, you did good on it, she did good. Yeah. I can't see ref. Just by one point. I see by losing by one point. But. I feel very strongly that I won that match, and um, I felt disappointed because it didn't go that way. I'm, I'm not a quitter. Well, I didn't do it again. Oh, you did good. You did good. No, no, I didn't no, no, no. do good enough. No, it's okay. Despite her loss at the provincials, Jenny was invited to the nationals. Even though I hadn't been, I hadn't come first or second at the provincials, I technically was third because the draw, they offered to let me box in the, at the nationals in the weight class above my own at the 60 kilo rather than the 57. And that meant a lot to me that we had finally come to that point and it would be really a shame if I hadn't been there. Jamie and Jenny won gold medals at the nationals. Great achievements for both of them. But for Jenny Reed, the fight still goes on. When I say I feel responsible for women in boxing, I guess I feel responsible for the different issues that arise. The fact that at every tournament, um, I make a fuss about something. But I, I think that as far as being concerned about women's boxing and it disappearing, I don't think that there's any concern about that any longer. Well, folks, that's all the time we have this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week on Personal Best.
Personal Best was brought to you by Tim Hortons, the Corel Corporation, and Advantage, Canada's only full-service telecommunications companies. Air transportation provided by Canadian Airlines International. Accommodations furnished by Delta Hotels and Resorts. Car rentals provided by Tilden Interrent. Produced with the support of the fitness program of Health Canada. And we're going to need some assistance if we can have our paramedics into the arena right away.